on our way to the storage unit to go and clear out our van as we had some really good news yesterday. The van was ready for collection, so they kept their word at uh, Lower Roads in Stoke on Trent, so that's really good news. And we're going to collect it tomorrow because it's the weekend and it's easier, so we need to clear out our old van so that we can put everything into the new van. We didn't want to clear it out before because we weren't sure if it would be ready and we're going away on Sunday so we needed a van for that. Um, uh, where are we going on Sunday Lee? So we are going to a place in Western Supermare called Uphill Marina. Um, we will tell you more about that from our vlog following our travels to Western Supermare. We'll, we'll you get an insight into what that campsite's like if you haven't been there before or haven't seen it before uh, and what we get up to while we're there. But we're going to film uh, this now and just clearing out the van and you will see also on this vlog um, we'll pick up our new van. So enjoy! About to leave, already packing Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we So this is all the stuff so far, we've got a couple more things, but as you can see, it's pretty crammed. Uh, and we're just looking forward to putting all this stuff from this motorhome into the new one. Exciting. So we're just about done, aren't we, Lee? Yeah, just about done. Last little bits now. Hi, so um, after a long drive, we've finally made it up to Stoke-on-Trent where it's handover day for the motorhome. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so we're quite excited about it. Um, we're gonna go in, do all the paperwork, um, get my tax disc sorted, everything else is sorted and get ready to do the handover. Hopefully we can take you around the van and um, and show you a bit of the handover. Um, yeah, that's it really, isn't it? So we we crack on, get the yeah. paperwork done so we can get you looking at the handover. This is where we met Trevor from Lowham Roads, who happily showed us around the van. So that is the fresh water fill. Yep, okay. I have known people go and fill the uh, fill with petrol and stuff like that. <laughs> it says fresh water. You don't want to be doing that. Okay. <laughs> so we left some in as we prime the van up so we, you know that everything's working. Yeah. Uh, and then that is your three bedroom which you know about people there, yeah. So at that point, we can go into the van. You would have to power it up, so I'll power it down. Click on it twice to power it down, it should okay. be about me. That's it, so speak twice for everything's yeah. powered down there. So you come into the van, you will power it up. It would say there, power off, so you just press it again. Okay. And that will bring this menu up. Yeah. Now this is the main plate for uh, all the activity and the programs here. Yeah. So, if it's dark when you go on site, that's your awning light. Okay. So once it's illuminated, it's on. It's not illuminated, it's off. Yeah. Interior lights, you press that one, they will say off to you. Yeah. Okay, so bring them on. <laughs> You've also got dimmer switches on them. That represents the back and that represents the front. Right. Go back to home, which is your main screen. Uh, so now we've just filled up with water. At the moment, we're sitting with 50% water in there yeah. and a quarter of a tank in the, uh, in the, in the waste. Yeah. Okay. As we go on through the van, I'll explain how to uh, download all that so we empty it all out yeah. and the proper procedure for uh, the drain down procedure. Mm -hmm. So go back to home. Uh, so the water's in, uh, so you know about bringing water through to the taps? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So. Well, your boiler, uh, your boiler, um, 
drain valve is in yep. the garage there. Okay. Did you notice where that is or I, not? No, I, I right. need to be shown that. I do need right. to take it back outside. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so your dump valve is now closed. Yep. So now I can introduce the water pump. Yep. So the water pump, once again, is uh, on your main control, which is there. When it's yep. illuminated, it's on. Mm -hmm. When it's not illuminated, it's off. Yep. Always make sure that your taps are down mm -hmm. because when you leave here today, your taps will be open. Yep. Okay. So, unknown to you, if the bathroom taps open, for instance, as soon as I press that on, it will fill the boiler uh, and it will all be going out in the, in the bathroom yeah. without you knowing. Yeah. Okay, so water pump on, bring the water through so there's no air locks whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, you've done that already. Yeah. Take it. So it'll be coughing and spluttering at you yeah. until all the airlocks have come through the system. Mm -hmm. So you're looking for that full stream of water. Yeah. And once you've achieved that and done the same through into the bathroom, yeah. then your van is fully charged with cold water. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then you can go over to this control panel here. So that will be off. Yeah. <laughs> so pressing on, I've got my green light there so yeah. Yeah, everything's hunky dory. Go into your menu. Uh, because I've turned it off, you need to just set it back up so your heating goes up to 30 degrees. Mm -hmm. You can actually stop it and start it plus or minus it wherever you want. Okay. Yeah. Uh, your next one down, so that is your thermostat to your heating. Your next one down is your thermostat to your hot water. Oh, okay. Yeah. So basically, yeah, uh, thermostat to hot water, that there where it's all full, yeah, so mm -hmm. that's not on. Or full or full. Yeah. So basically that's 60 degrees of temperature of water. Okay. Okay. You have got a boost situation on there, which takes it up to boiling point, then it will automatically come back down to halfway. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's how you spend the duration of your holiday. Yeah. At 60 degrees. Yeah. The only time you'd use this boost maybe is if uh, you've got a function go to and you want to get showered and out straight away. Yeah. Uh, but normally you would use it only 60 degrees. Your van does go up to 3 kilowatts of electricity. 99% mm -hmm. uh, of the time you will be running it on two. Yeah. You can actually run a house on two. Yeah. So uh, there's more than enough power to mm -hmm. put into this van and use every appliance you've got. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you were off grid, you'd be forced to use your gas. Mm -hmm. So once again, once it's illuminated, uh, if you're off grid, uh, that is your gas, yeah. then that will serve your fridge, mm -hmm. your cooker goes straight through anyway, straight yeah. from the supply, so that would um, do your fridge yeah. while you're off grid and also you're eating the hot water. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if it was whether you're on electric or gas and this little light here went red on you, that means you've had a fail. Yeah. So if you've had a fail, go and investigate why. Yeah. Okay. Have you turned your bottles on to start with, or have you run out of gas if you're off grid? Uh, or if you're on grid, has your post uh, been tripped out or something? Go and just check why, because you've had a fail. Okay, so that is your heating and hot water. Underneath here is your sergeant. Yep. Okay, I'll just explain a bit how this works. So, have you had a sergeant before no, on yours? Never, no, never. Well, this is the main controls the brains of your van. So basically this orange one uh, represents the spare switch for your heating and hot water. Right. When you leave here today that orange one will be off. Mm -hmm. The green one that can be pressed in all the time that yep. charges your leisure batteries while you're on your cup. Okay yeah. Uh, the black one up there which is in the far corner there mm -hmm. if you depress that that is a total cutoff situation yep. and then you've got no electric burning in here whatsoever. Yeah, okay. So if you're off grid, this becomes non existent because it's yeah. all bioelectric on your 240. That one there is your 12 volt. Okay. So providing that 12 volt is pressed in, whether yeah. you're on electric or non electric, mm -hmm. then everything will work. Okay. Lovely. Yeah. Excellent. Now then, the only one I haven't mentioned if you took a van abroad or if you're using a Jenny. Yeah. Uh, basically, that red one there that's not illuminated. Yeah. 
obviously there's no oh, way, there's no way yeah, yeah there's no way it's abroad yeah so basically you would need a cable for abroad yeah and a cable for home yeah if you decide to uh, use the cable because you can't uh, adjust them yeah if you use the cable from home to go abroad then certainly don't plug it back in when you come back yeah because yeah. it need adjusting back again yeah yeah okay so that Lovely. is the reverse priority Excellent. Yeah. If you're up with Basically what that is, if you were up in the Alps yeah. uh, and the engine started getting a bit weary, you may go yeah. on, I'll put some charge in there. You can Basically just, change yeah. it over, then you start saving the engine battery. Excellent, nice. 90, that's a good feature. Yeah, it is very yeah. good. 99% you know. uh, of the time you will be needing to charge your levy. So that's where it stays unless you've got a problem with the engine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this here, the middle one that's not lit. That is your solar panel. Yeah, yeah, I see it pop up, <laughs> and then obviously it's unplugged yeah. in, so, so basically, as soon as I unplug, you sort of <coughs> your solar panel will take over, mm -hmm. and you'll see that fluctuating in there. Obviously, depending on the weather, and that'll be charging whichever you decide yeah. to charge. So we go back to the home. When you're travelling, so 24 hours before travel, mm -hmm. bring the fridge down to uh, the frozen state. Uh, and it will be looking for that one. Yeah. So that one isn't your leisure battery, that is your engine battery. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be beeping at you until mm -hmm. you turn your engine on. Yeah. So the reason why it's flashing at me there is because I'll give it a command you can't do. Because yeah. the engine's okay. not going. Yeah. If it was that uh, you were on gas or electric and it was flashing at you with the alarm bells going off, mm -hmm. investigate why. Yeah. 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 Other than that, Put it on auto and it'll automatically pick up the source. Lovely. This one here is your thermostatic control. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so once you brought the freezer down to temperature, normally any fridge freezer will run between three and four. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then to turn him off, press and hold, and he's gone. Lovely. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, microwave, that will only work while you're on hookup. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. It is one of the modern microwaves, you haven't got the plate in there. Has it got a plug? <coughs> I'll ask this because we have got a power bank. It will have a plug. The plug's there. Okay, so yeah, so we can put it onto our power bank. That's yeah. Uh, yeah. What that is there. That's um, some Wi Fi, is it? That is, correct. So there's your Wi Fi. I believe you need a, a card to insert yep, it and we've got uh, get that going. Yeah. Yeah. Right, your arm depends. Basically, open your skylight. So there's the on button. Now what you've got is an outward bound. Okay. Yep. Uh, with a speed control. Mm -hmm. If that was too noisy because you're in bed or whatever, uh, you can't actually slow it down by pressing the opposite way. And then you've got an inward bound and that starts circulating in the air inside. <laughs> okay, but once again, if that was too noisy, it's uh, nice. just turn him down. Yeah, turn him down, then turn him off. Lovely. Okay, always, always for travel, make sure you hear a bump on the roof. You see hundreds of these on the roof away, where they forgot. Oh God. And it just uh, rips them off the roof, basically. Okay, have you had uh, um, the wet central easing before? No. No. Not at all. Well, it runs on its uh, t own circuit, yeah. So it's not water filled or water based, it's anti freeze. Right. Okay. So it never ever freezes up. Uh, so basically, what it is there, that is your fluid level, okay. You've got a maximum fluid level there. Uh, the reason why it's not full is because it's an expansion tank. Mm -hmm. the, the hotter the heating gets, the more that's going to rise. Right. So also, it offers its hand, the cool it will start coming down. Mm -hmm. uh, if for say some reason you couldn't see that fluid, then investigate why. Yep, okay. Uh, always what they are is like a push fit joint yep. yeah, onto your radiators. Uh, if you went over a pothole, mm -hmm. you know, and disturb a joint, you'll see the fluid on the floor. Yeah. So if you couldn't see that fluid, don't go and put your central heating on, because mm -hmm. then you start creating airlocks into the system. Right. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, so investigate where you think you've got a leak or whatever, uh, and then that will allow you to top it up. Lovely. Okay. And you never ever top it up above maximum mm -hmm. because of that expansion. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, you're a little bit taller than me, so it was really smart back to do this one. This is a different kind of opening. What you have to do is twist it, okay, it yeah. and then push him up. Oh, okay, yeah. And stick him where you want him. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Cool. You've got it. And then there is, you see these lock off things there? Yeah. Then you know it's got to be in there for travel. So, what you need to look for, some people get mixed up with whether this cat should be in that position or that position. Okay. Right? So basically, if you look at this little block here, mm -hmm. and you'll see the pressure release. Yeah. See how it went up? Yeah. So I know that's off. Yeah. Yeah. So you do the same on this side and watch the pressure release. So you go up. Yeah. So that's now open. Yeah. So now you can go into your opening window, which is here, which is electric. I'll turn the power off. <laughs> That's it. Here's going. It's back on again. <laughs> uh, so open your window. If it was that uh, it was a little bit stuck yeah. because uh, you haven't had it over for ages, uh, we stuck to the rubbers here yeah. because of the Imagine. sun, this, that, and the other. So yeah, you can just like it kind of releases a little bit. Yeah. So you stop, start that, but unfortunately, you don't travel with this. It's no. open. So that's open. That's shut. Thank you very much, Trevor, for doing the handover with us. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Sound. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Hi, yeah. So as you can see, we're on campsite now in the new motor home. So it's Whoop. all really exciting. Yeah, we got home last night and packed it all up ready to go for today. Uh, there is a few things that we still need, isn't there? Um, yeah. But we'll just make a list as we go through. I mean, we've got the stuff that suited the old van, but there's different things. You can make this more your own because of the environment in this van compared to the last one. So there is a few things, especially for me being more girly, that yeah. I'd like to <laughs> do with the van. So we're going to write a list and, and sort that out. Yeah, um, you do the girl stuff. I'll yeah. do the tech stuff. But yeah. as it Blue goes pink for jobs. Yeah, as it goes for the te tech stuff, so all the the different systems and that they're not that difficult to use. Um, just took a little uh, bit of playing around, and um, you know it's it's great now. We can have the fridge, for example, on auto. So when your engine's running, that's that fridge is is cooling down. Um, but no, love the van. And um, yeah, just excited to, to move forward now with the adventures and the travels. Yeah, we will show you around properly on the next vlog uh, and the campsite we're on and where we're going on our travels while we're here. So we're here for a couple of nights, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, and you wanted to say thank you. Yeah, so yeah, big thank you to um, Jason and... Um, Trevor. Trevor, that's it. Jason and Tre Trevor. Trevor showed us around the van. That was very kind of me. Didn't mind being on film. So thank you very much. That is much appreciated, Trevor. Thank you. Yeah, and all the information, you know, I've took it all in and um, we're using it now. So yeah. let's, um, let's leave this one here. Well, unless I you've got wanted, a thank you. I just want to say thank you to Lowen Rhodes uh, as, as a whole and Stoke on Trent because they've been really helpful and made the process really easy and yeah, a lot smoother yeah. than it has been. Anyway, yeah, so thank, we've been waiting thank a long you time. very much. And we'd also like to say thank you to everyone that subscribed thank uh, you. from our last video, which um, did better than we expected, and we got more subscribers than we expected. So thank you very much for your support. Um, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, and we're going to catch you on the next one where we'll take you on a tour probably around Western Supermare and maybe the site. So we'll see you, see you then. Yeah, see ya. Bye. <laughs>